Okay, in this lesson for our Quantic Project class, we will use uh, Galatians 3.21, and notice there is dispute, debate, and even uh, discussion about something called dispensational salvation, that is, the assertion that at different times and different dispensations, a person would be, quote, saved or justified or born again uh, by something more than faith. So uh, under the law dispensation, some assert that it was believe plus keep the law or perhaps just keep the law. So we'll look at Galatians 3.21 and notice how thoroughly uh, Paul addresses the relationship of law to life and righteousness. And notice that he's so thorough, his argument's unassailable, and in just one text, bothering to do the work in Corne as you all do in this class, we can notice some things that are so specific and precise uh, that it's without dispute uh, that there has never been a time uh, in the past nor presently uh, but spe specifically in the past, there was no uh, relation of law to life, uh, no law that would make someone alive, and certainly no law according to which the righteousness would be out from. So let's just look at that text, and we'll start here. Oh, the, and he's making a conclusion here, therefore... Therefore, no mas. So the law, definite article. Therefore, the law. And he's asserting here, kata, tone, ep, on, gelion, gelion. There we go. So against the kata. It's also um, the word uh, translated according to in 1 Corinthians 15 that Jesus Christ died for our sins according to showing relation. So we'll notice that um, that's also there of the, and this word promises is from epi and then message. It's full or complete message. It's plural. The full messages of two theu of the God. There we go. And then we have this very strong gene. So, and and what he's saying is may it's optate optate optative mood. So he's saying may the law therefore not come to be against the full messages of the God. So not here, not come to be, and again. It uh, expresses a wish or desire. So may the law not come to be against the full messages or promises of the God. Now he says, for, for since, it's a determined condition, determined, unfulfilled, second class. So since, for since, Adothe, they was given nomos, a law was given, was given ho denominos. This is a uh, present participle from dinamai. It's deponent, uh, middle and passive in form, but active in meaning, which is being able, and then we have this lengthy word here, zo, and then poi asi, 
That's aorist infinitive. It's two words, make or do or cause, and then zoo, life. So to make alive or cause to be alive. So he says, for since a law was given, which is being able to make alive, but, let me put that here, but it was not determined condition. Then he goes on and says, on, that's that which goes with uh, the con uh, conditional particle if here. And this is a sign here to show you the second class condition determined unfulfilled. Then, so we'll write then here. So we have if then, that's the protasis, this apodosis for those of you in the Corne Greek class. Then, on on tos, really, it's an adverb, really, then uh, out ek no mu, out from law an imperfect form of Amy was being speaking of past continuous action was being here he says the decai o sine so then the righteousness So then, really, the righteousness was being out from law, but it was not being out from law. So Paul makes it uh, quite unassailable in his argument. Uh, specifically, he worded it so precisely and so wordy. We say the Corne text is highly inflected, but it's very wordy. So if you bother to go through it, you'll notice that he's inspired by Holy Spirit. He's writing his letters or scripture. And the Holy Spirit communicated this wish, uh, this declaration that may it not May the law, therefore, conclusion from a previous argument, may the law, therefore, not come to be against the promises, the full messages of the God. For since a law was given, which is being able to make alive, but it was not, then really, and that's where we get our word uh, on like an ontological argument. Uh, it speaks of the nature of reality and the way things really are. So really, out from law, the righteousness was being, but it was not being out from law. So this is it. Just one text, the entire um, controversy, contention, dispute, debate, banter, and um, I suppose the emoting back and forth. Uh, it's just a way to stop and learn for ourselves. Uh, do we have a text that would inform us in a manner that does not allow us or abandon us to conjecture? But we have an absolute statement here. So you enjoy this lesson and have a blessed day.